third exercise that we get into, uh, one of my favorites, is called micro-segmentation. Now, micro-segmentation doesn't replace traditional marketing segmentation. You still want to do that type of work. But with micro-segmentation, often takes the form of a brainstorming. And we usually start off with a central question. Who should care about what we're doing here? Who should care about this brand? And in this particular example, we were doing some work for a company that made crystal figurines of animals. So we can certainly start off with a central premise of people who love animals. And then we sort of start breaking it off into the different types, you know, there's farm animals and African wildlife. You know, it's funny, in the whole world of African wildlife, there's people who are fanatics for giraffes and elephants, uh, domestic animals which of course there's fish, birds, cats, and dogs, and in dogs there's obedience, and rescue, and working, and breeds, the particular breeds, and then all the different types of groups. And then we get down to terriers, and there's Airedales, people who love Airedales. And in fact, when we look at people who love Airedales, you can start to find little small groups of people, like the Airedale Terrier Club of Illinois. We did this exercise for the Grammy Cares uh, Foundation, and you know, one of the things we got into was you know, people who teach music. And when we got down to the level of the Berkeley School of Music, we found that there was a group of people there who loved world music. And in that group was a subgroup that went Zydeco dancing every Thursday night. That's a micro-segment. Now, the beauty of micro-segments is as part of our marketing process, we build out a big, big list of all these imaginable micro-segments. And then we look at it and we say, well, this is where we're apt to have low-hanging fruit. Let's go after these guys or these guys or these guys. Um, and then iterate through these micro-segments and go out and do the, the research around where they are in communities so that we can engage with them on behalf of the brand. And in some places, we won't get any traction. And in another place, we'll get a lot of traction. And so we may put more emphasis there. But this micro-segmentation document ends up becoming a very core element of our work because it, it guides us where we can go and become involved with communities.